the show is called um, Ask Us Anything. So we want to get to know you, we want you to get to know us. So this is an opportunity to get to know us. So we'll be answering the questions that are coming at us random. All right. Awesome. So first question, what is the best part about being together? I should have went up to you. Oh, God. You're oh. so extra. Corny. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I mean, I truly hope you mean it, but that's really funny. I love the way that you said that. Um, that's really sweet. I don't think I can top that. Yes. <laughs> Finally, nine um, years and I got it. Um, and on my camera, I got that on camera. <laughs> that's really, really, um, that's really a good answer. So I got through it fast. <laughs> you definitely got some cool points on that one. Um, that's a great question. I would really, I t we talk about this all the time. I would have to say um, the same thing. Like, I have never been so, like, happy and so um, consistent in a relationship with the way that I feel. And, and How easy it just feels. It's, yeah, it's just easy. Like, we've it always. It naturally flows. It does. And we've always been that way um, since we've been together. I mean, literally, since the first day that we've met, we've probably only been apart one or two days max um, in, in all of nine years, I think. And I think it comes from us really just enjoying each other's company and, you know. And they say opposites attract, I mean, because we're two, we're opposites. Yeah, two totally different backgrounds, history, yeah. And everything. Yeah, so I would have to say the same thing, just waking up to you and being with you every day and we, we've gone through hard times just like everybody else like it's a really tough time now and and we're not distraught we're not stressed it, you know we've spent a lot you know we, we look at the brighter side of things i posted it even on my facebook thing on my facebook page um just about hanging out and spending more quality time so we truly honestly just like being together so i think that's that's that that is it all right uh, what kind of things do you do that annoys the others? Oh my gosh. And I think she does annoy me? <laughs> yeah, both of them. We only have 10 minutes. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I'm going to go first while you think about your list. Number one. Well, I can tell you, I can tell you what, I can tell you what your answer is. One thing that you hate is... You can one, answer for me. <laughs> one thing, well, let me answer one, because I know you're going to say it. One thing that you hate that I do is like when I chew out loud. I think you hate when everybody does that. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that's but everybody. It's, but it's like, like I can't help it. Like sometimes I'm just chewing something or, or if I make a hack, like a sound or something, like it just drives me nuts. But anyway, you can answer. See, no answer for me. What? What's your answer? See, I can't think of one. Okay. Cool, cool points again. Yeah, right. You totally have like so many things that you probably. Daddy, I want donuts. We don't, we don't have any donuts, honey. You ate them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let me think about that one. One thing that you do. Okay. okay I can, well, I, I can tell you. He curses like a, a sailor. sailor. Oh my goodness. Ah, you leave your hair all over the bathroom. Yeah. You do hate that. But so do you when you shave. Stumbles. Anyway, he sails like, I mean, he curses like a sailor. So we've had to work on that quite a bit, especially having little ones. We've had to work on that quite a bit. So definitely something that. that All right, go topic. Batter up. <laughs> okay, yeah. next question. Is right. that why? Why do you love me? Sorry. Why do you love me? I think it's almost the same as we said. Yeah, it's just, it's like very, like, it's like yeah. a very next one. It's like, it, it's just... I love it, you because you're you. I love you because you're you too. It's very natural. It's just like it's something that we can't really put into words. We just gravitate towards each other. Next question. It's all love. It's all love in here. <laughs> so, next question. Um, what's the best part about waking up next to each other. This is the exact same question. We have to stop <laughs> this and rewind it to prove it. <laughs> well, I think um, 
I can answer that question in a different way. The best part about waking up to each other <laughs> is waking up, I think, with the kids, with the family. Waking up to a family and a, a, you know, a constant situation that we wake up to love. You know, like, we, we sometimes are like, they drive us crazy, but we love them. It's that we have fun with them. Like, they make us laugh. They get on our nerves. But I think... The best part for us is, is spending time with our kids. That's what we like waking up to every day. I'm going to turn that down, baby. We're filming. Next question. Are you happy with the intimacy you share? Good question. That is a good question. And I'm going to be honest, peeps. I'm not going to leave anything out. And um, honestly, I, you know, you're a very affectionate person in your own way I would have to say that when you're to get when you're with somebody after a long time um, I don't want to say we don't try as hard I just think that we know that we love each other but you know we, I, it's really important that we try not to neglect each other but I, I would have to say that I think can you turn that down Andrew turn it down or I'm going to turn it down for you yeah. Um, look. Yeah, you want to show the people you're watching? You're watching Sonic. Yeah, I'm watching Sonic. So uh, let's uh, put that down. All right, go sit down. I'm happy, Junior. You want to kick the thing? All right. This is dead air. So, um, wait, what was the question? Exactly, get this child out of here. <laughs> what was the question? Uh, the question was, uh, the question was, um, I forgot. Mm. <laughs> Um, are, you, are you happy with the intimacy you share? Yes. The short answer is yes. Now, would we benefit from a couple of more, you know, romantic nights alone? Absolutely. We do try to get out. We haven't really done date night as much because we started a business last year. So we've been really, really busy. And we get, you know, and our schedules are crazy. But um, what I think this experience right now is, the coronavirus and quarantine is teaching me is that man you have to make that uh, a priority in your relationship because Don and I have been talking a lot more you know we've been having like in intimate conversation and to me that's intimacy to me that's intimacy so um, so yeah next question what soothes you the most on like a bad day? You know, how do you guys help each other? Listen to each other, we talk it out. John's a good listener. As you can tell, I don't talk too much. Yeah, I'm a talker, obviously. He's a good listener. Um, he's always been a good listener. There you go. And uh, I think that if whatever I'm going through, whatever I'm, if it's a, you know, he'll listen, and he might not say much back, but he listens, and that helps. What do you think about me? How do you think that I soothe you? Like by talking. By me talking? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, that's just a few questions. Um, maybe some of you knew that about us already, but for, for others, you know, that's just us, and, and that's us. That's it.